Hello, you are welcome. How to solve x and y in this nice system of equation? Let's label this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. And from equation 1, which is x plus y equals to 5, here let's make y a subject. Then taking x to that side, we now have y equals to 5 minus x. That is from here, let's label this as equation 3. Then substitute equation 3 in equation 2. That is equation 2, which is x times y equals to 50. We then become x times 5 minus x, then equals to 50. That is from here, x open this bracket and this becomes. 5x minus x square equals to 50 from here. Then let's rearrange and take 50 as well to this side. Then this becomes minus x square plus 5x, then minus 50 here, then equals to 0. And from here, let's remove this minus and multiply through by minus 1. That is, here what we have becomes x square minus 5x plus 50 now equals to 0 from here. And here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 5, and c equals to 50. And from the formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Here we now have x equals to minus minus 5 plus or minus square root of minus 5 square minus 4 times 1 times 50 then divided by 2 times 1. And also from here, the same thing as x equals to minus times minus here. We have plus, that's plus 5. Then plus or minus square root of minus 5 squared, that's t25. Then minus 4 times 1 times 50, that's minus 200. Then over 2 from here. Then also, this can be written as x equals to 5 plus or minus square root of here yeah, 25 minus 200 we have minus 175 then over 2 from here and also here we can write this in another way and this become x equals to 5 plus or minus square root of here we have 25 times 7 then times minus 1 over 2 that is, here we have x equals to 5 plus or minus root 25 times root 7 times root minus 1, then over 2. And here this becomes x equals to 5 plus or minus root 25, that's 5. Then we see our root 7, then root minus 1, that's i, then over Two, which also we can separate as x equals to 5 over 2 plus or minus 5 root 7i over 2 which implies we have two possible values of x that is we have x1 equals to 5 over 2 plus or minus sorry plus we separated that now that's plus 5 root 7 i over 2 then we have the second value of x x2 equals to 5 over 2 minus 5 root 7 high over 2 which implies here we can also get a corresponding value of y from equation 3 which is y equals to 5 minus x 
then when we use this relation from here it implies that y1 will then be equals to 5 minus x1 which is 5 over 2 plus 5 root 7i over 2 then here minus we open the bracket and minus open this bracket here we have y1 now equals to 5 minus 5 over 2 then minus 5 root 7i over 2 that is here since we can bring these fractions together we have y1 i equals to here 2 is tdsm and we have 1 in 2 that's 2 2 times 5 that's 10 minus here this is 2 in 2 1 1 times 5 that's 3 5 then minus 5 root 7 i over 2 and there uh, which give us y1 i equals to 10 minus 5 that's 5 over 2 then minus 5 root 7 i over 2 now we have the first set of solutions here which is x1 comma y1 is now simple as x1 here which is 5 over 2 plus 5 root 7 i over 2 then comma y1 which is 5 over 2 minus 5 root 7 i over 2 then also here we solve for the value of y which is y2 in this case and when we follow this you know formula we have 5 minus x2 which is 5 over 2 minus 5 root 7 i over 2 that is minus open this bracket as well we have y2 now equals to 5 minus 5 over 2 then plus 5 root 7 high over 2 which implies y2 from here equals to this will still give us 5 over 2 then plus 5 root 7 high over 2 that is here also the second set of solution which is x2 comma y2 now will then give us x2 we have 5 over 2 minus 5 root 7 high over 2 then y2 we have 5 over 2 plus 5 root 7 high over 2 then from here the value for x here same thing as the value of y here and the value of y here same thing as the value of x here now let's check if this will satisfy the given problem from equation one which is x plus y equals to five then we did satisfy that equation x plus y equals to five now let's use this first solution that there we have x as five over two plus five root seven y over two then plus y which is five over two then minus 5 root 7 high over 2 with this be equals to 5 from here then from what we have here this 5 root 7 high over 2 we cancel minus 5 root 7 high over 2 then we are left with 5 over 2 plus 5 over 2 with this be equals to 5 of course when we bring this together SM is 2 then this is still 5 plus 5 and is equals to 5 5 plus 5 that's 10 over 2 is equals to 5 and 10 over 2 here that's 5 which is equals to 5 so left hand side equals to right hand side which implies that it satisfies the equation 1 then also from equation 2 we have x times y equals to 50 now let's check if it will satisfy that as well from x times y equals to 50 then it implies we have x as 5 over 2 plus 5 root 7 high over 2 then times y which is 5 over 2 minus 
5 root 7 high over 2 with this be equals to 50 on this side then the expansion here it follows when we have a plus b times a minus b which is equals to a square minus b square at this here we have 5 over 2 squared then minus 5 root 7 high over 2 all square and is this equals to 50 then yeah this square affects 5 and 2 so 5 square that's 25 then 2 square that's 4 then minus here yeah, as well this square will affect each of these numbers so 5 square here yeah, that's 25 then root 7 square that's root cancel square that's 7 then i square that's minus 1 then divided by 2 square here yeah, that's also 4 that is from what we have here now here yeah, this now becomes 25 over 4 now when we multiply this minus times minus we turn to plus here yeah, that's here we have 175 now and over 4. I'm bringing this together. SCM is still 4. Then this will still be 25 plus 175. Now, it is, is this equals to 50 here? So that's what we are checking if it is actually equals to 50. Then here, 25 plus 175, that's 200 over 4. And is equals to 50. And 200 over 4 here, this is 50. Which is equals to 50. Now, left hand side also equals to the right hand side. And hence, from there, it satisfies the second equation as well. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and see you next class. Bye for now.